What's up Aquarius? My name is Millennia aka Love Chow Shadi and welcome to your March 2020 tarot scope. So I hope Mercury retrograde in Pisces was good to you guys Aquarius. Sis. You know it ended on March 10th so yesterday. Today is March 11th. So you know we're still in that shadow period, the aftermath. But you know what? That's all good. Okay so for real for real I don't even know why I was still talking like I was at work. You know what I mean? Like you know how you have that, you know, that voice where you you actually talking to people and then you have that voice where you're at work, you know, like, hi. Yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Anything for me. Yeah, it was Christmas Johnson. Okay. It, it's been a pleasure. My pleasure. Okay. Talk to you later. Okay. Mm. It's okay. All right. So this is like, I'm going to be honest. This is like my second take because um, the first time I was doing it, I was just like, let's just feel awkward. <laughs> All right. So Aquarius sees, we about to see what's going on for y'all. For y'all, let me push this back. So I got some room to, you know, spread these cards out. We're going to see what's going on for y'all. Um, this retrograde. Okay. I mean, what am I, what am I talking about? What is going on for y'all this retrograde? What is going on for y'all in March? The year March 2020. What am I talking about? <sighs> see? See? See what, show we see, see what, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so, so we're gonna go ahead and ask Spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit, for joining us at this moment. Thank you for guiding me with your unconditional love, light, and protection, Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to seek and spread your truth as well as your knowledge. Spirit, I am truly grateful for your presence. Thank you for clarifying what is. Aquarius uh, going through the march. You know, spirit, I'm sorry. It's a bit, yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say, spirit. But what I'm saying, spirit, is what's going on for Aquarius placement, sun, moon, and rising in the month of March 20th. There we go. Thank you. Oh, one card flew out. The magician reverse. Okay, I'm just going to leave that somewhere. Because for some reason, that card wants... I, I'm just going to leave it because that card popped out. And it was like, oh, where did you kind of come from? Kind of vibe thing. I don't know if you've seen it, my face expression. But it was like, oh, just kind of caught me off my guard. So what is going on with Aquarius in the March? In the... In the March 2020. What is, what is the message of Aquarius? I'm going to be rising. In the March of... March 2020. Okay. Oh, wow. So, Ten of Pentacles was out. So, I didn't even realize that card fell out. Wow. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles was out. So, we had the Magician card that flew out. And we also had the Ten of Discs that was just sitting out. So, um, for those who are wondering what deck I am using, um, I am using the Orisha Tarot. I love them too. Let's see. I just got them a few weeks ago, and I'm getting to know beautiful cards. So, we have, you know, actually the first card, the first actual card, the official card starting off the deck, the star card. And I only did that because we had the two other cards, okay? But the star card. All right, starting off with the Major Arcana. But wait... Another major arcana. So, so far there's like three. Okay. Aquarius is, I don't know what's got y'all attention. But I, I just feel like not pacing back and forth, but if that makes sense. So we have the star card. And keep in mind the star card is Aquarius. We have the Empress card. Um, Five of Cups. Five of Wands. Or this. And we also have the judgment card. So when I say the star card is the Aquarius, the star card is represented by Aquarius. 
you know what? I really feel like I'm just messing up on my speech, but you know what? I'm gonna keep going because we make mistakes. Humans make mistakes. It's all okay. I make mistakes. I am. I am. And I just, my speech has just been messing up all day. Maybe because I've been talking to people all day, but you know what? It's okay. All right. So, hmm. March doesn't have to be a complicated month if you don't let it become one Aquarius. Okay. So I'm just going to do a recap one more time of the cards we pulled. So the two cards that flew out was the Magician Reverse and the Ten of Disc. We also have the Star card. We have the Empress. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Four of Pentacles. And we also have the Judgment card. Leave my keys here for a sec. All right. Aquariuses, um, be sure to keep your plans to yourself. And this has been a big theme and message, not just for Aquarius, but for, you know, just the general collective. And this is just common sense in general. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to your hopes and aspirations, there are other people who are genuinely not going to be happy for you. And when I say that, you know, you may have people that are like, oh, you know, I support you. I, I, I like this. I like that. But low key, you know, they're jealous of you. So you really have to take a step back because whatever it is that you do, Aquarius, you really shine and you're really good at what you do. You're really good at it. And, you know, you attract a lot of, you bring a lot of attention to it. Like you stand out. There's something about you that stands out to other people. There's something about you that is unique, Aquarius. And Aquarius is, are unique. Aquarius is the, you know, eccentric sign. You guys are, you know, the innovators. If I said that correctly, you guys are, you know, the originators. You, you guys are meant to be original, you know. But um, most definitely there is some type of, ego conflict going on and someone also um in terms of love um and i'm not going to jump everywhere here i'm just we're going to go one by one but in terms of love i see somebody that is you know maybe this person is from your past or maybe this was a recent person you guys had you know i'm not sure if you guys stopped talking but i don't see well yeah there is a communication but somebody is not willing to let go of your guys's connection and it's like let me just show y'all this five of wands card look at just how upset this dude is this card is like so funny to me this card is hilarious because it's like the face your mom makes it's like the face your parent makes whenever you miss the bus and it's early in the morning. You tell them you missed the bus. And it's like, what you mean you missed the bus? What time did you get up in the morning? Because this just don't make no type of sense. And it don't, Aquarius. It don't. So you don't want your hard-earned work to go to waste. You know what I'm saying? And some of you, honestly, you guys have been working on something. You guys work. Okay, so some of you do feel as if some of your plans went to waste. Because some of you have worked on something and then you started something. You started with good and pure intent. And then something happened that, you know, where it was a thing of where lines were crossed or, you know, disappoint, a disappointment must, most, most definitely did occur. And it was a thing of trying to prove oneself to... A group of people or to an individual that you didn't need to prove yourself to at all. Sorry. So, yeah, most definitely. Um, 
I got my hater blockers on. 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 You can step up, up, up way, step up out my way, cause you all of my song. It goes something like that. But yeah, some of y'all got your hater blockers on. You got your hater blockers on. But you hate black as all. But yeah, Aquarius is most definitely stop announcing your moves. I don't know why that keeps screaming at me, but really stop announcing your moves. And um, in terms of love, in terms of connections, do not return to somebody in your past that made you feel like sugar honey iced tea. And it all sounds sweet. It all sounds sweet. But let me tell you what sugar honey iced tea means for those who don't know what it means. Sugar Honey, iced tea, shit, shit, okay? That's what that means. Um, yeah, most definitely don't return to what hurt you. I'm going to pull a few more cards, Aquarius. High Priestess, the, okay. We have the High Priestess. We have the Eight of Wands, and we also have the Queen of Pentacles. You know what you want, Aquarius, so it's time for you to start speaking that into the universe this month in March. Let me fix my posture. You know what you want, Aquarius. Is. You know what you're after this month. Really don't fight with your intuition because I see that too. Some of you are fighting with your intuition. Some of you are going back and forth with your intuition. Like, no, this isn't right. Like you're not, you're uncertain of something, whatever it is. It's like, it's not clicking and it's not making sense to you. Aquarius is, are you even making sense to yourself at this moment? And don't try to compete with everybody. Everything is not a competition for those who feel as if you need to compete with someone. You don't need to do that. You know, you don't need to prove that you're better than somebody else. You know, really put all that energy of trying to prove yourself to somebody else into proving yourself into your creative work. So even if you have to start over on something again, dust yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again. Because if at first you don't succeed, hey. No freaking copyright infringement, just somebody who wants to be petty and say, she's singing a song and it's not her, it's copyright infringement. Because that's how my Twitter account got suspended. So. But yeah, you need to communicate what you want to the universe this month. You need to say what you want and you need to mean what you say. So you have that power within you, Aquarius, to go ahead and be vocal and to be like, uh, this is what I want, universe. This is what I'm going to accomplish. And you really need to start taking care of you because whatever this thing is that you're lingering on to, I feel like some of you are, you guys want to, whatever. I'm going to just say this. Don't do anything you would regret later. But some of you need to come into terms that you know things don't always work out the way we it you know we, the way we want them to but that's okay that doesn't mean stop it just means to replan reroute you know don't give up so easily on yourselves aquarius is what's wrong with you why did i know this card was going to come up i just knew it so we have the page of swords and we have the Seven of Swords. So somebody is most definitely running their mouth this month. Aquarius. Like I said, this reminds me. Mom. Mom. I'm, um, I, I, I missed it. I missed the bus. What you mean you missed that bus? What time did you wake up? Some <sighs> I'm not gonna get into that. Cause that oh my god, that card is so funny. But yeah, so somebody's most definitely talking, so I just want y'all to be mindful, like, okay, so I don't know this could be a 
because four of pentacles is right next to the five of wands. So this could be in a work environment or a place where you're you know you make you're collecting some type of income. Um, there most definitely is some jealousy that's in the air, is what I'm seeing is going on um in terms of you know careers and things like that. Um finances. Aquarius is really watch what goes into your account and what you put out. You really need to be stingy with your outcome because you are some of you are not in the position to spend money right now. Like you're getting to that point, you know, your finances are becoming better, but you really need to be smart with your money. But somebody is running their mouth. Somebody is taking notes about you. And um, this person, especially with the seven of swords, they probably not even telling the full truth. I see somebody that's just being very childish and immature and people know that this person is immature. So it'll be a thing of, you know, no one really paying this individual any mind. Like I said, the <laughs> hermit card. It's like, nobody's really trying to hear what this person is saying. It's like, oh, I think, and everybody's just like, okay, whatever, you know, we, we're not into that. But Aquarius is, um, this month in March, really spend time to yourself um, some of you are longing for some type of love or missing some type of love, but that love, you're going to find it within yourself. So I don't think that's something that you need to be in search of or search for because, you know, how are you going to know what love is in somebody else if you don't know what love is within yourself, Aquarius? I'm sorry. I just thought I'd ask. You guys like to ask other people, uh, you know. Strong questions, what you say. So <laughs> today for my oracle deck, we're going to be using the oracle of the mermaids. Yep. So we got that going on, Aquarius. So we're going to see what, you know, the mermaids messages are for you in the month of March 2020. Thank you, Spirit and Ancestors, which one is at this moment. Thank you, mermaids. And these feel like mermaids. It's so cute. What are your messages for Aquarius? Seven, nine, seven. 2020. What are your messages for Aquarius? I'm rising. Month of March 2020. What are your messages for Aquarius? Month of March 2020. Contumacy, seashell div uh, sea divination, and wisdom of shells. Me and this car have a love hate relationship, and I'm gonna tell you why later. And then we have 16 reflections. What you contemplate, ooh, what you contemplate, you can actualize. So I'm gonna read these descriptions of the cards because I really want you guys to understand, you know, what each of them mean. And um, these cards, um, I'm getting to know them again. I'm getting to know them again. Again, it's been a minute since I really connected to them. Plus, they're a bit new. So, contumacy, 32. 3 plus 2 is 5. I'm not sure if 5 means anything to anybody. But to add these two numbers together, is 32 and 36. So, we have 5 and then we have... Uh, no, that's 16. So, we have 5 and 7. So, 12 and 3. So, I don't know if 3 means anything to this. So, um, yeah. 32, contumacy, message. Sea, seashell, divination, wisdom of shells. You're being asked to listen and uh, you are being asked to listen to and begin to understand the art of reading sea seashells. An ancient art, simple, pure, powerful seashell divination has a long secretive history and shells such as the beautiful cowries were also used in fertility magics. They have been found in the, in the burial mounds of the ancient peoples of Germany, Wiltshire and the Orkney Isles. And in the ancient China, the divine emperors were buried with nine cowries in their mouths, currency with which to trade in the afterlife. We know the humans have been working with shell energy in a sacred way for at least 5,000 years, and every shell has its story. Every shell has its energy. Every shell has its message. If you have received this card, you're being asked to connect more with not only learning the meanings and messages of the Kari, fertility, the conch, calling to your ancestors, and the scallop, Aphrodite, no one forgot the name, right? And so many other creatures, beautiful homes, but to protect them and become a sea creature guardian. Reading and working with shells can help us connect directly with the mirror energies, the sea healing, and the oceanic beings, and help us remember our deep love 
of the ocean. So the divination is just as crystals hold energies and message for us too, so do these beautiful living homes and structures of the sea creatures. Each creature resonates with a particular energy and by connecting with their shell, holding it, feeling its qualities and understanding its connections, we begin to heal a part of ourselves. And while we are perfect and unique expressions of the God and Goddess of the nature herself, we are also beautiful works in progress. Messages and healings from the natural world are empowering and freely available to us all. Take a walk by the shoreline and do a cleanup of any plastic or human debris you find. And once this offering is made, take another walk. This time with the intent to receive a message from the sea mother mermaids. Yaya show. Hold it and see what it has to say to you. You may wish to return it to the shore with thanks for its energy, blessing, and message instead of claiming it. You do not need to possess everything. So what this is saying with the seashell divination of wisdom of shells is I'm not sure if you some if some of you live by beaches, but if you do, um, there are sacred objects, you know, such as crystals and gemstones, even if you're not in the beach, but sacred objects, as I said, um, that have messages for you. And these could also mean rocks, but if you know, if that certain rock draws your attention or whatever that may be, pick it up and listen, put it to your ear and listen for a message. But you don't have to keep whatever that is, even if it looks pretty, even if it could be a simple flower or a ladybug, but whatever that is a sacred object or being that draws your attention. Go to it and listen to it for a message because it's there. And that's what the hermit speaks of, of their, you know, inner wisdom, you know, going inside of your inner knowing. And when you start to rely on your inner source, that's when your inner source starts sending you messages in terms of birds singing or, you know, chirping or, you know, sirens going off or, you know, just simple little noises being made after a thought or gesture just clarifying, you know. So really give the time to really connect yourself with sacred beings and objects. And, you know, everything that looks so pretty and that draws our attention, it doesn't always mean that it's meant to be kept. And also apply this to relationships relationships as well to Aquarius that sometimes you know people may be beautiful to look at from afar and they may be someone that we desire to have but at times we are not meant to hold on to these people and that's why my Fiditi came up in this uh, reading because you know her desire is to love her desire is to give she does not wish to hold or to own or to possess anybody that comes into her presence as well as her partners her lovers whatever it may be she does not desire any possession and neither should you so right now you're here to listen and to interpret the message Aquarius that is the goal so now we have uh reflections 16, what you contemplate, you can actualize. So, seven could be a number for you guys. Some of you could be a seven. All right. The mermaid sing. Mm -hmm. It's time to observe what is around and about you, to truly gaze upon what can be seen, and to think on it for a time. It does not mean to worry or to fret over to turn its way, and that in a quiet frenzy trying to find the right thing to do. But it does not. But it does mean contemplation, a time of gathering all the threads and all the half-formed thoughts and following some through to their end and reaching a better understanding of what it is you are currently looking at. For there has been a tendency to react, and while this card has created action and movement and waves, there have not been deep understanding, the understanding that brings deeper, deeper peace. We the mermaids are asking for you to reflect and become still and to truly see what it is before you. Reflection also means to have a greater understanding of yourself. There is no outer contemplation that does not have its echo within. So for now, look, look at what is there and feel the strength of the contemplative times. There is enough time in the world and you are not lazy for contemplating, thinking and feeling deeply. It is wise to be balanced when reflecting upon the big questions in your life. The process will bring up many emotions and so it is wise to make your purpose one of greater understanding, deeper peace, and action. 
that comes from the true values, far too much of recent action has been reinaction. A surge of movement against something, while this has felt just right, felt and just right, it was not it has not created results you wish for. It is time to reflect the reflected time. You will be shown the next action to take. Be sit, be still and sit a while. Gaze at a flower, the sunset, the light on the ocean. Feel the deep peace and the knowing of what will soon come after this. So the hermit comes up when I think of this. So divination, choose to not act at this time, but to stay still, to go deep within, to observe until you feel you have greater understanding. Reflect upon what has led to this, to this what has led you to this place in the moment of choice and reflect upon how you would like to see the now become and the future unfold. Reflect, reflect, reflect. Do not act for now. Seek to understand your own self, not to judge the act of others for a time. Put aside frantic action. There may be a panic kind of urge to do something now before it's too late. However, it's best at this time to stay still. Others may be urging you to action, and there may be a sense of being driven up into circumstance and having no choice. Being dragged along by surge on the current of the tide of opinion. Take the time to reflect, to understand each day. This is necessary. Or else, as we become automations, reacting out the habit, not choosing responses out of wisdom to ladder now. So we're already 26 minutes in, so we're going to wrap this up really quick, Aquarius. So before you go ahead and, you know, judge or act on anything that someone else is doing, really spend time to actually pay attention to what's going on within you and what is surrounding you. Because when you look at yourself you're able to actually really listen to yourself and what you need. And, you know, at times we attract our mirrors. So this is not a time to act upon, you know, even though there's jealousy going on, even though there's, there's somebody that's running their mouth or that may be saying something, you may want to react and you may want to go say something to this person. But spirit is telling you to just let it go, to just, you know, mind your business, continue doing what you're doing, continue spreading and creating your ideas because it's going to work out as it should. So just to clarify these two cards that I've seen, right? Um, Aquarius, you have a lot of good things that are coming to you. And as I said, there are people who want to stop that for you. There are people who don't want to see you become your best and highest self. And the only way they're going to see that be fulfilled is if you actually keep giving into the negativity and to uh, the unhealthy traits and, you know, just into these people, these low vibrational people. And that's why Five of Cups came up. So you had that choice to decide with the judgment card to take care of yourself and to remove yourself from that type of energy and really focus on what it is that you are trying to create and accomplish. And you can't do that if you're not sitting there examining yourself, if you're not sitting there looking at yourself. You know, don't pick at your flaws, but heal your flaws and correct your flaws. Okay, you, you got a lot of good things coming to you, Aquarius. So I really thank you guys for joining me. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. And I'll be seeing you when I see you. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Thanks, Aquarius.